Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Richard Stevenson and I'm the director of Stevenson Dental Solutions in San Dimas, California. And we're a teaching center that focuses on hands-on courses to enhance your skills and knowledge in clinical dentistry. And I'm really happy that we're able to talk about rubber dam and this will be the first part of a multiple part series on the maxillary rubber dam punching holes. And we want a rubber dam to look nice and tucked in like this, but we got to start with uh, planning. And that means picking a rubber dam. This is a 6 by 6 inch Nicktone latex rubber dam. It happens to be medium weight. And it is 6 inches tall and 6 inches wide. We'd like to place our maxillary hole 1 inch from the top of the rubber dam. And today we're going to isolate from tooth number 2 to tooth number 8. So we'll go ahead and mark the hole about five millimeters apart from each other uh, for the holes is, is an adequate spacing because you want to have it, enough rubber dam between the teeth so it doesn't uh, leave an open area or too much rubber dam so that it bunches up on itself. And I usually estimate this, but you could also use uh, a way of measuring this that is quite simple, and that is to utilize the instrument handle of a mirror uh, or a hand instrument of some kind and just put the holes on the outside of the width of that particular instrument and that gives you a really good idea of the spacing. Once you reach the canine you're going to change direction into more of a posterior vector and go ahead and just mark off the holes for the premolars and the molars. I don't like utilizing a, a template. I like to do this by hand. This is a five hole punch and uh, these are adequate. I don't think you need to have a six hole punch. We can usually find the right hole that we need and we're going to utilize uh, the largest hole for the area where the clamp is going to go and the next largest hole down for the molar and then we're going to move down to the premolar which will be the middle hole and uh, we can use that hole all the way for the anterior or we can move it down even further. The key is to try to size it so that the hole matches the diameter of the tooth and you can see I'm just working my way across like this. And I don't like using these preformed um, guides for punching holes because uh, rarely does a patient have an arch form that matches that. It's just best to do this by hand. And we're finishing up the hole punching here to the uh, central incisor. And that's basically it from the midline to the second molar. In the next part of the uh, series, we'll discuss uh, clamp selection and how to apply the rubber dam. Thank you for watching.